hello everyone so i was playing elder ring these days and this effect this particular effect so i kind of wanted to try that this type of uh, effect on the sword actually even the previous uh, effects are also uh, kind of inspired from elden ring so so yeah so base inspired from that this is what I was able to implement. Not exactly that, but kind of something like that. So yeah, let's see how to implement this today. And sorry for my bad voice. I'm kind of having a sore throat, and my uh, throat is kind of scratchy. Um, sorry about that. All right. So let's see how to implement this today. All right. So first of all, I should mention that I am uh, suffering from some sore throat, and my voice is voice may be extra intolerable today. So yeah. Anyway, let's just get on with this. So yeah, I have uh, created this texture. Actually, I didn't create the, this lightning effect. It's just something I put together from the images found on Google and i have arranged it in 1080 uh, 4096 by 1024 uh, dimension image so that i can have four cells so that's the way i have created this uh, image so i'm um, from this image using this image I have created this material like this so here I can see these uh, lighting effects and I'm using I have used the surface material domain with additive blend mode mm, maybe just only should be enough here and this is the material I have created and I'm going to use this to create the lighting effect on the sword so here uh, we all have, we have already worked on these effects so I'm going to duplicate one of these effects and create the lighting effect so let's see let me take this blood sword effect this one and let's make a copy of it so i have already shown all the steps of how did i create this effect in the blood sword uh, tutorial so let me close this and copy this blood sword into the lightning folder so here we have another blood sword effect so let me change this to electric sword right so first uh, instead of this red smoke I think I need a black smoke so let me uh, change this color to black okay and instead of this dripping blood i'm going to change this into the lighting so here let's use this m lighting material but as you can see it's not visible so let me change this to lighting or electric arcs actually uh, color mm, let's add a
color node here and change this one to a curve so we can have this nice uh, oh wait do we really need a curve maybe not let's just go here and change this to uh, oh it's green okay now this looks like a lighting but you can see some lines so it's not using the uh, sub UVs so here I'll change the sub image size to 4 by 1 so now you can see it uses only one of the cells from this image for this one but as you can see here it shouldn't fall down so it should be going through the going along the sword so let me disable or remove gravity and uh, enable again this add velocity in cone so it's going up let me just change this to a smaller value okay so that's not the direction it should be going right now this is starting to look like something oh it's uh, actually that's not the direction I should get first let me do make few changes uh, the lifetime let's set to 0.3 by 0.4 Point four, great, and the scale. Let's do twenty by thirty. Okay. Now this one. What if I change this to minus one? Hmm, that seems correct. Okay, and the sub UVs. Uh, I, this looks like it's using only one cell. So, sub UV animation. Let me make this random uh, in between 0 and 3 okay now it looks like it's using a couple of different frames uh, one more thing let me increase this angle oh too much now maybe 30 is enough okay compile let's see how it looks on a sword let me duplicate this and select the effect and change it to the okay We did set up few variables here. Right, uh, maybe we should change this 
sprite size change oh wait let's change it to something like this Okay, and it looks uneven. Oh yeah, that's because of this. Okay, maybe fifty or two hundred. But still, it doesn't look good. and it should be reversed yeah yeah now the direction is correct but still this is kind of slow for lighting so maybe point 0.1 what if we just drop this scaling part Oh, that seems good. Yeah. And uh, this moment is speed also. Reduced. Great. Uh, Having too much light in arcs kind of looks bad, so maybe 100. Yeah, seems good. And another thing is, uh, we can see a clear clipping of the light in arc and the surface. So, but if I do some depth fade. The fair distance, maybe three. We can somewhat reduce that sharp clipping. Right, nice. I think this looks good. So now, uh, here, what if I connect this to? use uh, main color yeah it still looks okay uh so by doing that we can we have sword color and small color actually this should be not a small color yeah uh, the small color is used because of this smoke so maybe i should change it to effect color or something sword color effect color yeah. and here effect color is this okay so let me duplicate this and change the effect color to it still works so if I copy the same color to the sword also it works but for the sword maybe we should reduce the intensity so that we can see the lighting effect 
properly. Similarly, duplicate and change this one to thousand. This one trait hundred is zero. Nice. So this is the final effect. Cool. So all right. So I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. So as always, project files will be available here for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.